So today we are going to see the mantra Durgama Dhyana Bhasini. Three words are in there Durgama Dhyana Bhasini. Now, what is Bhasini? Bha Bhati in Sanskrit means to shine, to illuminate, to shine. From that, we have the word Bhaskara. Bhaskara means the sun. He is the one who gives light, illuminates the world. And that is why he is called Bhaskara. So, Dhyana Bhasini. What does she shine or illuminate? Dhyana. Dhyana, as you know, is meditation. Durga. Either we can take it in the sense of she illuminates our meditation or she is the one whom we see in our deep meditation. If our dhyana is that good, is that focused, we can get an experience of a kind of vision of Devi Durga. Durgama dhyana bhasiri. And what kind of dhyana? Durgama. It is rare. That kind of deep meditation can be very rare, difficult to get. And when we have that kind of supreme meditation, dhyana, she shines or illuminates our meditation. For the lack of time, I think this should be suffice for today. Am I right? Swamiji? We still have a couple of minutes, uh, Arjuna. We can, we can uh, but uh, I mean... Uh... You see, you spoke of Durgama, Dhyana, Bhasini, but uh, what about when we have Durgama Dhyana? Hmm. At that time, this, what is it that lights up? Just like Pasya Bhasa Sarva Vidham Vibhati. Tasya bhasa sarva vibhati, sarva vibhati, vibhati. Same way, Durga is the one who shines everything. Durga is the one who shines everything. Hmm? She brings that illumination. Hmm. And is that something which is rare? That is not something which happens all the time? It can be very rare. It's, it it, it can be rare. So most sadhakas will never get that kind of experience. Very rare, very extremely few fortunate will get that kind of experience. Yeah. So you see what happens is that we all what we say that we are meditating. We are actually not meditating. We are trying to meditate. Because hmm. we can never actually try to meditate. It is something, a process which happens. And we can try and come till that level. But that jumping across, we need to make that shift. And that is something which is not easy. But it is her grace that mm. she helps us transcend that uh, yes. glass ceiling, if we can use that word. We have the glass mm. ceiling and it is we might try so hard. But we are not able to go beyond that. How do we how do we make that breakthrough? That is the grace of Durga. And it is not easy, it is very rare. But once that happens, then the illumination comes in. And so you will now see that slowly from focusing on our hardships, now the aim, the, the tone of the mantras is changing into something different. It is hmm. to something positive. Difficulties, negativities, hardships are the negative aspects. But now hmm. she is transforming them into something positive. So hmm. that is yes. uh, what Durgama Dhyana Bhasini would be.